Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and today we're gonna help demystify the whole controversy around MUDEC and save files. So a lot of people believe that they can take out their micro SD card from one Steam Deck and move it over to another Steam Deck with no problems whatsoever. As we're finding out with people buying OLEDs and moving from the LCD models, they're finding out their save files are missing. And the reason is, a lot of your save files aren't stored on the SD drive, even if you think that they are. You'd be forgiven for thinking that, but let's actually do a deep dive. I am using SSHFS. I have mounted my Steam Deck's card, SD card, as my Y drive. So I can see my Y drive right here. And here's that emulation folder that MUDEC creates in your BIOS and your ROMs, right? Everything that you think in, it's supposed to be there is there. But if you look at saves, saves is the wild card. And that's because a lot of what's in the save folders is just a little bit of trickery. What do I mean by that? Well, let's jump into the saves folder. And through the power of a quality file manager, plug plug like directory opus, I can actually see things a little bit differently than I would if I were on the deck, which is why we're here. So as you can see, these are all the systems you would think that your backups are here, your saves. Yuzu's here, I got uh, PCSX2, Dolphin, Doug, it's all here. If I, if I just move this SD card over to another system, I should be fine. Well, let's use the power of directory opus and go into a view called grouped. Grouped view lets you see not only the folder inside of emulation saves, but also what's inside each folder. So this gives me sort of an expanded view of everything that's in here. Now, what should be jumping out at you right now is that most of these folders don't contain folders or files at all. They contain symlinks. Symlinks are pointers to other locations. So this saves folder is not a folder at all. It's a symlink going somewhere else. This GC or GameCube for Prime Hack isn't a folder where your saves are. They're pointed somewhere else. Same with Wii, same with RPCS3. It's a symlink going somewhere else. The question is, where? Again, something I can't do on Dolphin, but I can do here. I can actually add all these different types of columns. And one of the columns is target. So where is it pointing? this sim link, where's the target? Because if I right click on saves, which is a sim link and I look at properties, Windows isn't very happy. It's, it, it, it'll show you kinda, but it, it won't let you go in there. You can't expand it. You can't see the rest of it. So you can tell though, that it's actually home deck var app something. So these Citrus saves are not here on the SD card. They are sim linked somewhere, but I can't see it. Fortunately, Again, thanks to the power of Opus, I can actually bring this target right on over. We don't care about the date. What we do care about is where it's at. So now let's start taking a look. So right now it says CMU saves are actually located. Let's go ahead and open this up so we can actually see everything. Perfect. So this is actually located at Run Media Deck. This is my micro SD card. Emulation ROMs, okay. Wii U, fine. Wait, wait a minute, Wii U under ROMs? Wait, what? ROMs, Wii U, MLC01, user save. That's where that save files, those save files really are. And we can go verify, not that I have any save files because I don't play Wii, U, uh, Wii stuff on here, or Wii U stuff. Um, we can actually go over here and this says, okay, so run uh, emulator ROMs. So let's go emulation ROMs. I'll scroll down to Wii U. Well, sure enough, here it is. User and saves. Now, if I actually played Wii U on my Steam Deck, I would my save files would be here. But this is still on the micro SD card. So you're saying, shouldn't I be safe here? And the answer is, yes, you should be safe for that particular instance. But let's keep looking. All right, so let's start just looking at these targets. Home Deck VAR app, Dolphin, Data, MUGC. These are not on your SD card. So all of your dolphin related saves, you just lost them because they're not they're not stored on the external SD card. They're stored internally. Game list for uh, emulation station, probably not a big deal. Okay, here we go. Here's another one, PPSSPP. Oh, it's located 
on the internal storage. Prime Hack, internal storage. Retroarch, internal storage. Uh, yeah, PS3. But wait a minute. Run deck, emulation storage. Nope, this one's safe. This one's safe because it's actually in the emulation storage folder. Okay, that one's safe. Uh, how about Vita? Uh, that one looks safe. Anything that has a target of run media is safe. Anything that has a home deck target is not. So now you know exactly which of your saves are going to make it if you just move your SD card and which of your saves are not going to make it if you just move your SD card. And you're going to have to go to each and every one of these specialty locations on your old deck, copy the contents out and put them into the same location on your new deck. Now, I will tell you right now, the easiest possible way to do that is exactly with the tools that I'm using right here, which is SSHF, SSHFS to mount both of your Steam decks as drive letters inside of Windows, and then copy these folders that you see here listed, copy these folders from your old deck to your new deck. Now I could do that, but I don't have any saves in any of these folders, I don't think. So it'd be kind of useless for us to go through the motions, but you can see here clearly where the files are that you need to go get, and you'll have to put them in the exact same location on the new system. So there you go, that, that should hopefully clear this up. Moving your micro SD card isn't enough. People often question, why do I have to use the MU deck backup and restore tool? It's gonna go out and get these. It knows where these are. It set these weird sim links. The MU deck import export tool will help you get all of these game saves. And then once you've backed them up, you can restore them and it will restore them into the appropriate spots. So you can either do all of this by hand using the information that you have here, or you can just simply use the MU deck export tool and uh, import tool and have it do it for you. All right, listen, I hope this cleared everything up. I'm Shane R. Monroe. If you like what you saw here, please like this video. Please subscribe. And of course, hit the notification bell because you know I'm on the cutting edge of this stuff. I'm out here looking out for you. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks so much for watching and take care. We'll see you next time.